One of the things I'm starting to realize, folks, is that, as I said in a previous video, we gotta start embracing our masculinity. We gotta stop looking at this world like we can't be men. And I'm not saying to be radicalized or anything crazy, but just take ownership of your body. Get in shape, take care of your business, take care of your relationships, take care of your finances. Don't be afraid to be that leader that the world, I don't know, it's kind of been discouraging us from being. Take accountability and take control. That doesn't mean you have to be a jerk. Doesn't mean you have to be a, you know, a bad person, but you can take control and dominate. My goal going forward with everything I've going on is to take back my masculinity, take back control of my life and stop being a victim of my circumstances. With everything that's going on, it's been an absolutely crazy year for me. And as I'm rebuilding my life, I'm gonna take you guys along this journey with me. All right, if that sounds good to you, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you need some supplements, use code Kwan with Jim Supps. Also, if you need some online coaching, I'm here to help you as well. But uh, today we're hitting some shoulders, we're crushing it. And a little physique update, I'll put my full shoulder routine down below. And uh, let's just keep getting better one day at a time. We gotta stop making excuses for ourselves. Stop allowing other people to make us feel less than and stop giving other people control of, you know, our, our life and our outcome, all right? For me, I've been making excuses for too long. I've been allowing other people to make decisions for me. And that's why I'm in the position that I'm in right now. So instead of staying here, I'm gonna take back control of the direction of my life. And though I'm gonna be sleeping on a friend's couch in these next few weeks, I'll eventually have a room. I'll eventually, maybe in a year, get my own place. I'm gonna be rooming with someone for now, someone I'm really excited to hang out with, and I'm really excited to see where this takes me from here. Again, as I say, and as I've been saying in this series of videos, I'm being transparent and honest with you guys because chasing these dreams out here in LA is not as easy as people make it look. It's not you just come out here and you become famous. So many people DM me and they're like, Quan, you know, when I come out there, how do I get on red carpets? How do I do all this and that? You have to be unique, you have to be yourself. It's not about just showing up and things happen. LA is just as hard as every other place to make it, if not harder. So if you have big dreams, big goals, you have to come out here and show up every single day. That is the only way you're going to achieve these goals. The only way you're gonna to get to that lifestyle that you wanna to get to. Not necessarily about being in LA, but it's about, it's about believing in yourself. Because you can make changes, you can grow no matter where you live, no matter what you're doing. But you really have to remember that the only person that has control over your fate is you at the end of the day. So we're gonna be making videos pretty much daily as I go through this journey. I did get a new job, which I'll make a video about that as the details come through. I'm still gonna be training clients, still doing my online coaching, but I'm diving into the management side, the corporate side of fitness as well, because I want to make it to the highest level possible as a trainer and as a fitness professional. I wanna see what I can really do in this industry. I've been in this for 12 years, guys. I'm about to open a, help open a gym. It's United States debut. I'm super excited, hiring a staff, handling the marketing, you know, handling, teaching the culture to a new group of teammates, guys and girls. And I'm really excited for the challenge. I'm really thankful for you guys' help. I really like making these short videos that are packed with information just because I feel like that's the world we're in right now. So let me know if you like them and let me know if you guys want to see me train something else. Also, I'm still going to continue the, you know, celebrity training series as well. So we're going to be making tons of videos, man. Keep locked in with us. Keep going. Let's get this physique update. So initially when my breakup started, I lost about 20 pounds. Right now I'm sitting about 2, 210, 215. This is where we're at right now. Lost a little bit of muscle mass, but I'm feeling good so far. Again, life's gonna happen, things are gonna come at you, but you gotta keep showing up, all right? Man, <sighs> I'm excited to see where this goes, man. I'm really excited to work with you guys, grow with you guys, and, and kind of, you know, truly see what we're capable of. So, even when you're feeling down like I am, even when you're feeling defeated like I am, just know it's not over, all right? I don't know if I'm talking to you guys or talking to me, but uh, I appreciate and I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for another one, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right?